Hi everybody. So we've been working previously on the tail cone. If you're looking at these videos in series, you'll notice that uh, this is not the tail cone. So at the moment, the tail cone sits behind me, uh, all ready to have the very last skin placed upon it. Placed, it's already placed, riveted in. Uh, it's just uh, waiting. So in the meantime, I'm gone ahead and have kind of uh, found something for myself to do, which is preparing all of the uh, push rods, etc., for doing the aileron rigging. Now, I don't have both wings done, but um, you can still get most of the pieces ready uh, for when you have the wing done. And I have one, in, you know, and, and one's in there, and it's actually been a very interesting process. There's been some pitfalls and some some areas of uh, help that I needed, so uh, first thing I'm doing is putting in the proper hardware for mounting the aileron to the wing. There's very specific A and 3 bolts with uh, washers and some spacers. Now, <clears throat> one of the things is that this wing has had the service bulletin, so Vans came out with a service bulletin for the uh, inboard aileron hinge bracket, and we'd gone over that whole thing ad nauseum. Uh, but one of the problems with that is that with the new very thick bracket in place, you have these dome head rivets which get in way in the way of the aileron. So what some people do is simply add or shift um, the spacer from the right to the left and add another basically another uh, washer as a spacer and shift the aileron over just, you know, 65 thousandths of an inch to miss everything. Uh, so that uh, that's what I did here. And putting three, you know, washers on in a row with a bolt, as you can imagine, it's not easy, but I got it done. So the very first thing that you're going to do, which you just saw me, I had my little uh, pipe cutter out there, is is oh yeah 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 so actually because I had to move uh, the aileron over a little bit one spacer width uh, I had to resize a an aluminum bushing spacer that goes on to the inboard hinge bracket I mean because you do change the width the thickness of it now. Uh, one thing that the service bulletin instructions do not come with is a diagram of how the spacers are supposed to work after you change um, or after you put on the new spacer. So the, like the instructions show the original hinge brackets and the original spacing. Uh, the service bulletin doesn't give you an update. Now there's, and, and basically on the VANS forums, and you talk to VANS, they'll just say, yeah, you can add a new spacer because you just need to move it over like 65 thousandths of an inch, which is no big deal. And uh, so that was me cutting that. Now uh, I am making the main push rod. So this is the main push rod that goes from the inboard edge of the wing all the way out to uh, a bell crank. And the first thing you do is you cut it to length. I think it's like 60 something, 64 and a quarter inches. Uh, Inside the instructions, Vans includes a template for you. They tell you to cut it out, but I'm not cutting anything out of my book. So I just went ahead and made a 100% sized copy of it, cut it out, and you tape it to the edge of the uh, tubing. And it's got nice crosshairs, uh, exactly six holes all the way around, equal distance, that you then use a punch to make a little hole, and then you drill your pilot holes. And that's what you see me having done there. So you drill the pilot holes, and then you insert the cap end in. Now, nothing's really holding that cap end in place, and you have to put this cap in. It's the male end into your tube, and then you have to drill, match drill the holes there, which is fine. The, only, the best way that I've seen people do it is they, they use clamps to clamp onto the tube, and that puts pressure onto uh, the rod end and then it stays in place, but I didn't want to put any undue torque on it, so I just did it by hand, and you know what? came out perfectly fine. Uh, anyway, you drill all the holes, then you put in the... Uh, then you pop rivet it into place, after you prime it, of course, so... Anyway, so, the next few videos, we're just going to be working on the aileron rigging, 
uh, <clears throat> which will continue soon. So see you soon.